Mitral valve disease is a complex diagnosis. My name is Wilson Zito. I'm currently the Chief of Cardiovascular Surgery at Penn Presbyterian Medical Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Mitral valve disease is a complex diagnosis. It ranges from mitral stenosis as well as mitral regurgitation. That is leaky valves versus valves that do not quite open normally. Based on the anatomy of the mitral valve, that will dictate the type of care, ranging from mitral valve replacement, mitral valve repair, and in patients that are either older or have other significant medical conditions, catheter-based therapies may also be an option for them. Mitral valve disease can occur in association with other type of valvular disease, including aortic valve disease, tricuspid valve disease, and rarely, pulmonic valve disease. There are treatments that could treat all the valvular disease at the same time in one index operation. Mitral valve disease can also be seen and associated with other cardiac diagnoses that will require surgical treatment. Number one, atrial fibrillation or a fast irregular heartbeat can be treated effectively with a procedure called a maze procedure. Secondly, coronary artery disease can sometimes be also associated with mitral valve disease. Coronary artery bypass grafting, or what we call revascularization, to provide more blood to the heart around these blockages. Number three, aortic aneurysms, or dilated blood vessels. The concern with aortic aneurysms is that they could rupture. And lastly, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or thickening of the septum inside a heart a procedure called a surgical myectomy or resecting or cutting out that portion of the heart that's too thickened. These are very effective treatment strategies with good outcomes and of course improve the quality of our patients and their lifestyle after the surgery. Over the last two decades, cardiac surgery has evolved quite a bit as well as the complexity of the procedures we were doing procedures that will require concomitant components to address multiple diagnoses. Despite the rise in complexity over the last two decades, I'm excited to share with our patients that the outcomes have also improved over the last two decades. So patients can now expect cutting edge therapy with great outcomes in today in many, many centers of excellence. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.